If you're thinking of becoming a doctor, if this is your career plan for the future, you really do need to think carefully about how this profession is going to change. In the next 10 years, it's going to become almost unrecognizable from what it is today. This is going to be driven by three things, artificial intelligence, algorithms, and robotics. Artificial intelligence and algorithms are going to work together to help us do a much better job of diagnosing diseases and selecting the correct treatments for patients. Already, IBM's Watson computer is doing a lot of work. At the moment, it's focused in on the cancer environment, but very soon it's going to be extended across to every disease. Well, what they're doing at IBM is they are feeding the supercomputer, Watson, with every single piece of medical information ever known by anybody anywhere, as well as all of the medical records that they can get their hands on. Watson is then doing a whole lot of different correlations and causations and looking for patterns and that whole big data analysis that you've probably heard of to try and find out the causes of various diseases and to do a better job than the average doctor can on diagnosing what the underlying problem is. And you know what, in tests already undertaken, your typical cancer doctor is getting a about a 70% accurate diagnosis first time, whereas Watson is running at above 95% accuracy. And with, with 10 years from now, with the amount of computing power that we will have, we are going to want to have a computer like Watson to do the diagnosis of our diseases as well as the selection of the treatments that we will have. So what's left for the doctor to do? Well, the doctor needs to improve his or her bedside manner and people skills because it's going to be a lot more about caring for people. It, it is going to be about preventing diseases uh, and using Watson as an assistant to help you get ahead of some of the diseases so that you don't just see people when they're sick. Uh, let's be honest, most of us only go to the doctor when we're sick. The doctor never sees us when we're healthy and isn't paid to keep us healthy. 10 years, 15 years from now, that model will have changed. And if you want to be a doctor, you're going to have to think about the types of skills you're going to need in order to be that kind of doctor. Because you can't compete with Watson, you can't compete with the machines. The third thing I talked about was, was robotics in addition to AI and algorithms. And you know, already robots are better at eye surgery than human doctors. And I think what will happen within 10 to 15 years is humans and machines are going to work alongside each other. So you want to be a doctor in the future, you're going to have to learn how to work with machines. So let's just recap, you're going to need better people skills, better bedside manner, better technology skills linked to data analytics, programming, software development and algorithms, and you're going to need better mechanical skills to be able to use robotics and, and, and machines uh, as part of a doctor-machine interaction. All of these are new skills, hardly taught at medical schools these days. I also think you need to ask yourself three key questions. What is the current boundary of the medical profession? Uh, because that's where the exciting part of the profession is. At the moment, I think the biggest boundary is the brain. Any medical profession that starts with the word neuro, uh, the neuroscience, uh, you know, whether it's brain surgery or understanding the brain or mapping the brain, uh, all of these are currently at the edge. And so if you focus on those as a specialty, uh, you'll probably have work for half a century. The second question we have to ask is how is society changing and does that open up any opportunities? So for example, people are living longer, a lot longer. My own grandmother just turned 103. Uh, half of all the people who have ever turned 80 are still alive. And doctors are going to have to specialize in caring for elderly people uh, in the future. Is that a specialty you're interested in? Well, it's certainly one that's going to be around for the next century. And then the third question finally is, how can I make a difference? Uh, I think this is a question lots of young people are asking, and you need to ask it about your chosen career. Not just, can I make money? Can I do it? 
am I capable? But what difference does it make? And luckily with the world of medicine and with doctors, you can make the hugest difference in the world. Uh, we're always going to need people uh, who, who are going to need health care, who are going to need medical interventions. And of course, there are many people in the world who just can't afford to do this at, at private rates. And we're going to have to find medical professionals who are prepared to work in poorer areas with, with poorer people. And, and maybe to look for innovations and breakthroughs to reduce the cost of medicine. So there we go. There, there is plenty that you can use the medical profession, becoming a doctor, to do in, in order to change the world. The only thing you can't do is approach the profession, the medical profession, becoming a doctor as if it was still the 1990s. Uh, the future is upon us. It's coming quickly. And the doctors of the future are going to be very different from the doctors we know today.